Hello, and welcome all to another Neon Cab video. I'm Phil, and I'm glad you're here with me. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing, and welcome. So, what occurs when you transition from computer-assisted to computer-created designs? Groundbreaking AI software has been generating imagery based purely on text instructions, drawing the intrigue of global creatives. But can it make a mark in yacht design? Let's take a closer look. Recently, a surge of inventive artwork that seems straight out of a sci-fi flick have emerged online. Crafted using cutting-edge AI platforms developed by a handful of companies, these creations offer fresh prospects to the creative fraternity. As of this moment, Dolly and Midjourney are leading the pack. Although differing in output, both platforms essentially generate visuals based on brief sentence inputs into a search bar, producing four images within seconds. The range of results is vast with some truly astounding outtakes. Though I talk about the designs of some creative companies in this video, I'm going to show some designs that I came up with. I'll link to the other company's works in the description below. John Cantu, a designer from Cantu Design, Known for projects like the 38 meter Garfield, not the cat, Westport Yachts W35, and the Red Sky Refit, likens the process to targeted unpredictability. According to Cantu, it compels the articulation of design concepts succinctly and effectively. For instance, distinguishing an Art Deco railing from an Art Deco railing with ornate flower metalwork and a polished brass handrail. Again, what you give the prompt directly affects the output that you're going to get. The US designer leverages both platforms but prefers Dali, envisioning a revolutionary change in how design studios gather inspiration, compile mood boards, explore shapes and themes, and kickstart the design process for yacht exteriors and interiors. Cantu has been tracking Dali since its inception, and he's awestruck by the software's creative process and sees immense potential in it across multiple industries. He believes that this creative content generator, in the right hands, can deliver unparalleled results tailored to specific descriptions. Although skeptics exist, Cantu thinks most will regard it as an extra resource for focused inspiration. Initially, the search results Cantu received were mixed, However, with each successive search, he learned the phrasing that yielded the best results. Quote, we've been able to get designs of a diverse range of yachts, from practical designs to the most daring concepts. He finds the ability to focus on minute details or the broader perspective intriguing. Echoing Cantu's thoughts, Jana Klein Calmer, a freelance interior architect and artist who has collaborated with Cantu Design, explains the emphasis on detail. The more specific the input, the more precise the result, a principle applicable to mid-journey too. However, one needs to comprehend how AI interprets the text structure and words. Klein Calmer was eager to test Dolly's handling of complex interior designs, and the results were intriguing. While the AI often focused on prominent features in a space, its creativity shown when it dealt with specific architectural styles or art history influences. Now Dolly fetches data from the web and reformats it. OpenAI mandates that all images credit the AI, but doesn't assert copyright, allowing creators to use the images freely, such as I'm doing here. The technology's use of existing content does raise potential copyright concerns for original works. Aware of this, OpenAI has a complaint process in place. As of now, Dali is in the beta stages as the developer continues to fine tune its artificial general intelligence. Cantu says, designers often source web-based content when seeking inspiration. AI art provides a novel pathway to the same process. Although I know there's plenty of artists out there who probably disagree. Rob Armstrong, creative director at 30C, aligns with Cantu's viewpoint. Having explored both Dolly and Midjourney, with the preference for the latter, 
as is my preference. In collaboration with Mahdi Shazakan, director at MS Yacht Design, Armstrong considers AI's possibilities vast. Midjourney stands out by allowing users to refine and develop the initial results endlessly and to personally use images of their own to generate the visuals. According to Armstrong, Midjourney uses images from the web to create AI art, but with the ongoing changes, users can feed it personal images to create new artwork. Armstrong shares his long-standing idea generating method. He sketches basic lines and works up from there, allowing the paint, in this context, the AI, to create the form which is then interpreted and transformed into something tangible. How far these platforms can be pushed is limitless, but their future relies on market response and effective utilization. Free, albeit less powerful alternatives like Starry AI, Dream by Wombo, and Night Cafe have emerged. The breadth of possibilities and results vary across platforms, with Google also eager to penetrate this market with Imogen. The evolution of this niche will be fascinating. However, not everyone is sold on this technology. Dan Leonard, co-founder of design studio Nuvolari Leonard, feels the tech lacks the emotional component critical to the creative process. He doesn't see an immediate need for the technology given that their studio often has more ideas than opportunities to bring them to life. The potential of these platforms is mind-boggling. While it remains to be seen how they will shape the yacht sector, their official launches will undoubtedly stir up the excitement. And as you can see, I have a lot of fun playing around getting some incredible visions of a possible future myself. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with some of my favorite images that I've generated using Midjourney. I hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoyed creating them. If you've made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. And hey, if you're interested in gaming at all, me and my son have our own gaming channel. I'll link it in the description below. Once again, thank you for spending some time with me here on Neon Cab. I'm Phil. Catch you on the next one. I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too